Well, good afternoon, you guys, and welcome to uh, Marley Grace Creations. If you're watching me right now from YouTube, welcome to my channel. If you're watching me right now from Facebook, welcome to my page. Um, we're just glad you're here. My name, like I said, is Marlene, and this is Marley Grace Creations. Um, we have been doing 30 Days of Pumpkins. I got up one morning with that bright idea. So, I must have had a moment of insanity or something. But, um, anyway, it's been good so far. Today is day 11. So, um, hi, Patty. How are you? So, um, let's see. Today is Thursday. Happy Thursday, you guys. Welcome. Hey, Nancy. How are you? And Bonnie. How are you? Hi there. Um, tonight, we're not going to do a pumpkin. We're going to do a pumpkin thing. So, the first thing I'm going to do is um, cut out a couple of pieces of this pattern. Oh, I'm glad, Patty. I'm glad. I'm going to trace this. I thought about tracing the back. It'd be easier, except last night's napkins. Um, let's see. That was the blue and white. The blue and white. I need to fix this, y'all. I feel like my clothes are falling off. You know, this thing is so... I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's just loose and it's getting on my last nerve. I might just have to tie it up or something. Oh, anyway. Um, last night's snapkin was the blue and white one and it came from Tuesday morning, I believe. Okay, um, you guys... You can come in under your business name, but not um, a link, unless that's a place to find something. Oh, you sprinkled to your craft group. You can come in under your craft name, by all means do that. But um, Tuesday morning, do you guys have a Tuesday morning? <laughs> this thing is getting on the last nerve. I'll get it fixed in a minute. Um, good evening, Elaine. How are you? Hi, Cheryl. I'm probably just going to have a worse mess. Am I, gonna, I think I'm going to have a worse mess. How are you? I'm going to get this fixed one way or the other if I tighten a knot. <laughs> I might have to just put my black one on. Where's my black one? It's over here. This one's getting on my nerves. Matches my shirt, but it ain't worth it. Hi, B. How are you? Okay, I'm afraid I'm gonna splatter paint on me tonight if I, across town, but where the drive? Across town. Where did you go across town? See, I can't come in through my group. I don't have a page. Oh my goodness. Okay, Joy. I'm not sure I understand, but whatever. It's all right, it's really okay. It is, I promise. Okay, now, I'm covered up, so I don't splatter clothes all over this. What I'm going to do first is cut out some and welcome, Joy, by the way. I'm going to cut out some of these. I made three of these today. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them here in a minute. Um, I love Tuesday morning. They have um, lots. Well, you know, I was there a few weeks ago, and they hardly had any napkins. So, it's hit and miss. So, if you're in Tuesday morning and they have napkins you like, you better grab them. I did have a good day. Thank you, Penny. I did have a good day. Um, I went, a friend of mine brought, bought me some stuff from Dollar Tree. Um, and brought it to me to church Sunday. They have a lot nicer stuff than ours, so I took a trip to her Dollar Tree this morning and bought way too much stuff. But I have a lot of stuff. Craft stuff to work with. That's what I got. Okay, I've got two of these. Where's my other piece? There it is. I have one more piece. Anyway, I just kept cutting out these today until I came up with 
the um, shape I want it. And I'll show you in a few minutes what I'm going to do with these. And these are those seal, the things that look like ceiling tiles from... You, it's hard to find them at the Dollar Tree here anymore, but I can find them. Hi, Helen. Um, I can find them at Dollar General and... I forgot, somewhere else I saw them not long ago, but I love working with these ceiling tiles. Okay. Let me cut these out. I went to Dollar Tree for 20 minutes this morning and spent, oh yeah. That's kind of what I did too. Hi Lorraine, how are you? Welcome girl. Ah. Uh, there's my scissors. Let me get these cut out real quick. Is it storming where anybody else is? It's trying to storm here, and I really thought I was going to have to um, let y'all know I might have to come on later. And we had a couple of big cracks of thunder, and it got kind of dark, and now it seems like it's kind of gone. So I'm hoping it is. And when you get these ceiling tiles, don't count on um, don't count on the back staying on. They do not. The backs do not stay on these things. That's okay. I hardly ever need them. You use them anyway. But if I was putting them up in my house and this so-called sticky back started falling off, I'd be a little bit upset because it'd make it really hard trying to storm. Yeah, well, you're not far from me, Janet, but I went to the Dollar Tree in your neck of the woods this morning and found a whole bunch of cool stuff. The Dollar Tree close to where I am is awful. It's always nasty and cluttered and just have a little of this and that. It looks like, um, half time, it looks like a war zone. Um, it is the edge that is sticky. Just the edge? Oh, well, maybe that is the whole problem. <laughs> You're right about that. Well, I don't even need the edge. How about that? Okay, got three of these. These three things right here are going to be a pumpkin. Oh, goodness. Um, Hobby Lobby has a 75% sale on what spring shop stuff did you find anything well let me see let me back up first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get some paint and i'm going to stain this board because that pumpkin's going on this and i'm not going to um stain i'm not going to um brush it on i'm going to sponge it on as soon as I find my sponge, and it won't take long at all to do that. Let me get this dark color. Gosh, I know I went in Hobby Lobby the other day for something. I think I spent like $13, and I thought, gosh, is this real? I'm going to pinch myself. I felt like I was dreaming or something. And I wanted to go today, but I knew if I did, I'd just buy a bunch of junk that I didn't need. I just went there two weeks ago. Okay, what I'm going to do is put a lot of water in this and make this brown paint like a stain. Oh, that's a galvanized pumpkin that I picked up at the dollar store today. If I can reach it. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what I'm going to do to it yet. It was $5, just like it is. It's very pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. But something maybe. I really like it a lot. I'm just going to put a lot of water in here. Just throw this out and make a stain out of this. The spring collection 75% off, I know, and it won't be there long. 
When they do that, that stuff flies out of that store. Two, three days later, they don't have a thing. So. Okay. I'm just going to put it on and wipe it off. Right now, I'm going to get use what's on this brush. And um, so I don't have to fill my water with that. And then I'm going to put my sponge in there. And then I'm just going to just kind of uh, wash it. So the wood grain is going to show, but it's going to be dark brown. It's going to look like it was stained, but it's really not. I mean, this is stained in the wood, but it's not a, um, it's not an oil-based stain or anything. It's just a, it's just a wash. See, you can still see the wood grain, and I'm even going to wipe it back just a little bit more in just a minute. Sonia, did you get the picture of my little black and white kitty today? He was just sound asleep out there. He didn't move. Hey, y'all. I'm still here. <laughs> Hiding behind the board. I felt like the Wizard of Oz, the man behind the curtain. Hey, Sassy, how are you? I have learned her from Denmark. Hope you've had a good day. Okay, I'm going to just leave this aside for now. Happy birthday to who? Whose birthday? I'm just taking a baby wipe and getting the excess off of here and just leaving as much wood grain as I can. Dry this a little bit to set it aside while we work on the pumpkins. That way it'll be good and dry. And these boards come, let's see, where'd I get? I think I got, oh, Sussy, it's your birthday today. I would sing, but you don't want me to. You really don't. And Facebook might shut us down anyway if I did. Hey, Joyce, how are you? But happy birthday. I hope you had an awesome day. You mentioned last night that you have a coach. Do you have a coach that teaches you how to, um, I can't read the rest of that, how to, sometimes I can touch this and read it all, and sometimes I can't. No, I can't. You can finish that on a different post. A different one said teaches you how to do what? Let me set this aside and let it dry. I got a couple of cute trucks today. Okay, I am painting these. Um, let me move you down just a little bit more. Let's see if you can see better. Yeah, that's much better. Good evening, Susie. How are you? My husband took me out of town. You're out of town now watching me. Yes, business, yes. Um, I'm learning to do all kinds of tech stuff. I'm just not, I can craft all day long. I can get on Facebook Live. 
I'm good with that. Um, I have learned to do reels, kind of, not as good as I want. I want to learn um, to put videos on Pinterest. I want to learn um, Canva. Let's see, what else? Um, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I mean, there's a whole lot more to it than just sticking something on Etsy. You have to kind of know... Um, does the coach do? She tells, she gives me lots of homework is what she does. <laughs> lots of homework. Um, anything we need to know, pretty much. I love this terracotta color. It's a really good pumpkin color without it being so bright. So I am going to do this in this terracotta. It'll dry a little bit darker. I made um, egg roll in a bowl for dinner. Has anybody ever had that, made that? So you know about my share at the beginning of your live. Okay, I shared your live to my craft group. Okay, I hear, gotcha. Gotcha. I'm good, I'm okay. Thank you for doing that too. I appreciate that. Um, let me set this one aside and put some paint on another one. It's just the only reason I said that, Joy, and it's okay. Um, for some reason, Facebook just don't like links on here. They like, if you put links on your page, it should be, um, um, what am I trying to say? Um, like pinned for uh, to find a product or something like that. Um, and I haven't ever had a violation, so I'm not worried about it right now. Oh, I'm good, honey. I do, I understand. It's okay. I do appreciate you doing that. But um, I have to be really careful on the reason I do is because and once I saw your face and all that, I realized what you've done. Sometimes uh, stink bugs is what they call them come in here and they'll put crazy posts and I mean, not posts, well post too, but they'll um, put links to crazy places. It's kind of places we don't need to be going, so. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah Lena. Sarah, were you the one on my um, YouTube channel today? I can't remember. It was Sarah somebody. Painting on. I missed it. Um, these tiles, I've got three of them. I've cut out three this size. I'll show you in a few minutes what we're going to do. We're going to make a pumpkin with these. Might turn out. We haven't had a fail yet, but this might be the first night. <laughs> Never know, right? Uh, don't know how to do YouTube. Oh, okay. It was Sarah somebody. I just can't remember. Adhesive tiles from Dollar Tree. Yes, Joey, it is. Um... It, we can't hardly find these at our Dollar Tree anymore, but this is where these came from. But the last time I was in Dollar General, they had plenty of them. So if you guys are looking for some and can't find them, you might want to try your Dollar General. Because I understand that um, Dollar... Let's see. I hear thunder. 
Dollar General bought um, Dollar Tree out, I believe. Not sure, but I heard that. Okay, let me dry these. I have to be really careful because these things will melt. Oh, Sarah, what area are you in? What state or whatever? try you guys if you see something at Dollar Tree that you really like and they don't have but one or two of them or don't have any more you can go to dollartree.com um, there for a while I was um, doing a lot of cricket stuff on mugs these don't need a primer not with the prep this um, I don't know <laughs> for what we're doing no I'm sure not I get it stay on here we'll have top cut on it later anyway I heard that ah, I'm melting that one I'm changing its shape okay that one I might have to make another one right on how do you get a coat? Well, you have to hire one. They cost money. <laughs> They're not free. I wish they were. If you send me an instant message in my messenger, I can let you know who she is. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. And I don't think the door's open right now. I think, well, no, no, actually. Um... Actually, I believe she made an announcement yesterday that there was room for a few, and it's not going to be long the doors will close. So, possible. Hey, Laurie. I won't call you Faith tonight. about to distort a couple of these. <laughs> you have to be really careful, y'all, when you paint them and then dry them with the heat gun because they are plastic, you know? So, you have to be careful. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. I want a second cut on this, and then I'm going to put some um, dark wax on it, and then I'm going to around the edges with some paint to make it look like a little shadow you'll see so it'll look more three-dimensional than just slapped together this is another one of those things that's in my head so we'll see how it looks tonight I sit here this morning and drew out these shapes Texas how are you Miss Linda been as hot here today not quite I'm gonna go ahead and put my brush in the water I think it might be through with that somebody yesterday um, put out a rooster with one of these. Green. Thank you. Thank you, Marilyn. Hmm. 
Let's see. Could have used the silver one behind you for a template. I didn't have it then. <laughs> I did this at like 8 o'clock this morning, and I just sat here and cut out some of these shapes that I wanted to use and got them the size I wanted them. And then I went to Dollar Tree and got that about noon. So, yeah, I know. But I'm going to do this a little different than that. Okay. I want them to dry, but I don't want to melt them. A case of 50 is 62.50. Yeah. Oh, you have to buy a whole case? Sell them. I don't know. Maybe you want to um, ask like a marketplace or something if somebody wants to buy 25 of them or something. I love them. I'm going to be cutting out a few leaves while oh, this is finished drying, too. Let's see here. Let me get a dry brush and spread some of that paint a little bit and let it dry faster. I think that looks good. Okay. I am going to cut out a few leaves. Where is my stuff? Now I thought I had all my stuff over here in a basket. I did. I already took that one. You cut anything out of them and make them. I know. I love them. I like everything cut out of these. Oh, 35. Yay, I didn't see that. I very seldom look up. Stacy usually comes in here and keeps me straight. Hey, Francis, How are you? Okay, I have one leaf cut out. Kind of looks like a pumpkin, pumpkin leaf, right? Do you know um, what this is? In the Dollar Tree, there's these big baking, I wouldn't say it's a baking pan. I think it might be to go in your oven to keep spills and stuff. But anyway, Allison, Allison Powell Ball Ross. Yep, what? I missed that. Um, full cookie sheets? Maybe, maybe. Anyway, it's it's like thick aluminum full. So, I'm going to cut a few leaves out of this. And we're going to use that on the pumpkins along with another color, possibly. But I'm going to go ahead and draw some of this on here. And let me use my Sharpie. This pen doesn't work on that very well either. Cookie sheet. And these are hard to find. I look forever. Oh, that's hard to see. I look forever to find these. I had to go across town to another one. Um, weeks ago, I haven't bought any in a long time. So I went ahead and got a handful while I was there finding them. You know, and I've, you got to wear ever since COVID too. If you find something you really love, you work with, and you're gonna need, you better grab it. Cause it's hard to find stuff, y'all. Did you see my um, video a little while ago of my new car sticker? My daughter made me one this morning. Well, I'm gonna take that back. She didn't make it for me this morning. She made it for me Sunday morning and it's been laying on my kitchen counter and I can do that too. I just, just didn't, just hadn't, but I love it. Okay, let me cut a couple of these off out. And you have to be careful. This stuff will cut you. It's not as sharp as metal. Oh, yeah, Patty. The mom life. That was sweet. She's the one that kind of got me started using uh, the Cricut. I played with hers before I ever got one. I just thought this would make cute leaves on that because it's going to be kind of, hmm, not, I wouldn't say rusted, maybe kind of, but I didn't want it to be foo-foo either. 
Okay, I think that's good enough. There's two down and one to go. And this doesn't, don't, you know, you don't have to worry about going right on the lines if you're doing this. I just took a, let's see, where's my leaf at? I just had an extra leaf and I just laid it down and drew a pattern. And I mean, roughly. Um, hi, Dolores. How are you? Oh, I said be careful. Don't cut yourself. I just about did it. Okay. I got one more somewhere back here. I know I do. Okay. I'm going to get the, um, no, I don't want the light. I want the darker. Um, Hauser Green. That's light too. Where's the dark Hauser Green? Hmm. Am I imagining that? Okay. Let's just use this. Wait a minute. Yes. Medium Hauser Green. That's what I want. I knew I had one. Thought I did. I don't want it to be lime green. Hey, honey, how are you? Heather Dawn? Let me get a plate, y'all, to put this on the paint. Then I won't smear it all over everything. Oh, goodness, okay. Right, let's just get some paint on these leaves. Is Allison in here? Is that what you were doing talking to Allison? If she's in here, I hadn't spoke to her. I didn't see her. Oh, this, I love this color. Hauser Green's probably one of my favorites. Of course, you know, y'all, it don't take much to, to make me love it, it's green. And I'm gonna um, wipe this back, not wipe it back, kind of sand it back in a little bit. So some of that silver's gonna come through. I better get my hot glue. Gun cranked up over here too. I always forget that. I'm not sure why. It's the color of your shirt. Almost. Almost, Connie. You know what's not to love, right? I love green. The light Hauser green really is about the color of my shirt. And I may add something else to this in a minute, but for now I'm just gonna get this dark on here. I hold my hands so I'm just flying off the table. Ooh, that cross quick. Good. I guess heating that metal a lot causes it to dry fast. Okay, let me put the leaves aside over here and just let them dry a few minutes. Get this off my hands. What do I keep doing with my baby wipe? I guess I keep throwing it away, do I? I don't know. Okay. I am going to use some, I think burnt umber. This is brown oxide. This is kind of a brownie orange. I think I'll try this one. 
If this is not right, then I will make it darker. It's easier to make something darker. If you're not sure, then when you start. And I always use one of these when I'm just trying to hit the high spots. You guys probably already know that if you follow my page at all. That just kind of hits the high spots and takes all the guesswork out of it. See? And that's a little subtle. I don't want it um, like in your face. I just want just enough on there. And I'm going to put some cinnamon on it and make it look rusty too in just a little bit. And I'm using the side of the brush. You guys see that. I'm not like painting it. Hi, Diana. Diane. Sorry. Probably going to have to dry this and go over it one more time. Oh, wait, I have one more. One more. Let me do them even. I don't want to do them. I think I am going to have to put some darker on there, though. A little bit. I'm just rubbing it across. You guys can see that's good, right? If the comments are in your way, just take your hand and swipe them out of the way. And if you need to comment or see comments, you can just swipe it back. And that way they, they're they not in your way. <laughs> that just bugged my dad. Bless his heart. I started to do this white, but I'm going to do everything more fall colors. Okay, let me dry this and see if I need just a little bit darker. What did everybody have for supper? Have you guys had supper? Have you ever had an egg roll in a bowl? If you have it, you need to make it. It is yummy, and it's so fast and easy. It's good for you. I do keto sometimes. I should do it more than I do. When I do, <laughs> do it right. Um, that's one of the things that I make quite a bit. I'm going to make some burnt umber. Yes, I am. I'm going to mix some burnt umber with this just a little bit, just to darken this up, because I don't, I want it just a little, little bit darker than that. Not quite as dark as burnt umber. See, I'm just mixing a little bit of burnt umber in there. Ingredients for um, two sheets to cut those out. Um, one and a half. Um, actually, if I'd have laid them out just right all the way to the edge, I could have got three on one sheet. I did that, and I thought, you know, I, I just want to go ahead, and I had a half a sheet from something else. But um, the ingredients for that is um, I get a package of the slaw mix, you know, the shredded cabbage with the carrots and all that stuff in it, and I cook a pound or two, depends on what you want, of um, ground beef, and then a half a pack of, I use um, Jimmy Dean or whatever kind of sausage, and you don't have to put the sausage in it, it's whatever you like, and then put that together, and in a pan, I saute onions and garlic, and put that in there, and just cook it all until the cabbage is cooked pretty good, and then um, I add um, some sriracha sauce, not a lot because I don't like hot stuff, a little bit. And um, some soy sauce, yeah, that's pretty much it. It is yummy. And I made some rice. My husband likes rice with everything, so 
I made some rice, and he ate his with rice. And then I made some chicken quesadillas to go with it. It was good, easy. That's easy. It is meatloaf, parsley, potatoes, and green beans. Oh, man. We make, um, when I make meatloaf, I always make too much. And the next day, I fry meatloaf and make meatloaf sandwiches with mustard. That is my favorite. Hey, Mary, how are you? How are you, Luann? Okay, I think these are like I want them. The leaves are kind of like I want them. The board is like I want it. So I'm gonna go around these edges with some dark and to kind of make it a shadow. So let me get these brushes in water so I don't ruin them. And I need to get a good shading brush for this, a big shading brush. <laughs> That's probably not big enough. That's a big thing. I need a bigger brush. Jelly beans. I like jelly beans, too. I just like food. I like everything. 50, almost. 44. <laughs> almost, y'all. Okay, what I'm doing, my brush is really wet, and I'm going to make a shadow around this. I'm not really going to paint it. I'm going to just blend paint around the edges. And since it's raised, it might not work like a flat surface. We'll try. And all I do is just take and put a corner of my brush in there, and then you see what it's doing. It's only, it's only on one side, and that's the side that goes against the outside. And then the water, dragging the water, okay, I'll show you in just a minute. Yeah, it's good. Need a little bit more. And my brush is really wet. You can't have it so wet that it just bleeds all the way through. Um, you have to wipe the excess off, but you still want to leave your brush. In other words, you're not painting a stripe. It's kind of hard to explain, but you're not. And you keep the outside of your color around the outside so see how that's more on the outside and when it dries it'll look even better than that so can you see the difference it's on the outside of that one and that will give the pumpkin some definition when we go and put it together hey sandy i missed you last night are you okay I'm just getting a shadow around the edges like a halo kind of and then I'm probably going to go over the edges with some Tim Holtz ink to just to darken it up but this goes in a little and that's what I want it to do oh I bet they are you've had to sleep a lot but that's the way you get better I hear it thundering again. Let's hope it's going by. You know, I was just thinking today about why do I always constantly feel the need to create? Everybody don't. My kids are happy just their house is like it is and they're happy with it. Their stuff is like now I've got my older daughter and my younger daughter starting to get different about her stuff. But my grandmother was always crafting. I've got a cousin who owns a graphics design studio in Tennessee. I have a cousin who 
those t-shirts and used to design um, Harley Davidson motorcycles. Okay, see that? They look really old. It's gonna look even older because I'm gonna put some cinnamon on it, make it looks like look like it's rusted. Oh gosh. You didn't get a notification, Stacy. Y'all, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go. It might take me a while to set this up and figure it out. I'm gonna go get Instagram. Because that way Instagram will definitely let you guys know just as soon as I go live. Because that ha does happen quite a bit. And, you know, Facebook chooses who they um, do, you know, give notifications to and who they don't. I don't know what their, what their reasoning is for who they do and don't do something. But, anyway, we'll get it figured out. Ha ha what, Heather Dawn. Allison. I should say mom. Sure, Allison. I'll adopt you. It's okay, honey. <laughs> you can come hang out in my craft room with me. Only my pets get to do that. Did you do just one coat of triple fit? Um, actually, I didn't use just triple fit. I used a mixture that I make, and it was three parts. I feel like when I do this, I'm yelling at y'all. Um, I mix one part Duraclear and three parts triple thick, and I did two coats. I did two coats of Mod Podge. I did one when I was putting it on. I did the second one over the whole thing and dried it, completely dried it. And then I did um, the mixture that I make. Here it is right here. I just always mix it in this jar and keep it ready. And it's three parts triple thick. And the way you remember that is because triple is three, right? So three parts of that and one part Duraclear. And I keep it, um, sure, Allison, I'll send you something with Heather to work Monday. But um, I keep that on hand all the time and use it for a lot of stuff, especially if I want something to look glossy. Uh, Mm. I always heard when you wake up at 3 a.m. it's because you need to talk to God. I agree with that. Are y'all having a conversation I don't know about? Um, I, I agree with that, Dolores. I do. And the triple fit, you can use it just like it is. You can. You can use it just like it is. It is, but it is as thick as honey. And so if it's a really big, hey, Melanie, in case you didn't see my comment earlier, can you let me know if you got my, yes, I did get your payment. And I sent you an email and said, would you like for me to put your sister or sister-in-law or whoever that gift is, a little sweet card or something? from you in there before I mail it. And that's the reason I haven't mailed it because I want to know, do you want me to do something special in that box before I seal it up? And yes, thank you for your payment. I'm having a pork burrito mm. and a beer. That'll help you sleep, girl. I'm just blotting the extra water off of this, y'all. I haven't seen it, I'll check. That's that's all it said, so you can just let me know. If you wanna send me a private message in my messenger and just let me know that, I'll get that out first thing in the morning. Okay, let's see, are one of these darker than the other? If two looks like they match and one don't, I kinda of want them to, okay, I need a little more on the edge of that. It looks darker. I need, I need them to pretty closely match. Thank you, Stacy. Stomach issues. Oh, all this delicious food. Um, I don't know, Sonia. I have never tried to thin it out with water. I have never tried. What you could do is put a little bit of triple thick in um, a little jar or little um, butter dish or something at your house and try to do that and put it on something, just see what happens. It'd be kind of fun to know. 
um, I think it's water-based, so I'm thinking it probably, um, this kind of does look like leather. It reminds me of a leather belt, um, like a, the Mexican leather. Kind of blot the excess away because I don't need it on there. It's fine, so it can dry good. Okay, now I did not turn my glue gun on. This will take a, a minute for that. Okay, while I'm waiting on my glue gun, I need to make sure that this is. This doesn't have a top or a bottom. I'll put a hanger on it. Let me see which is the prettiest wood. I think it's prettiest that way. Isn't that pretty, the wood grain in that? Okay, and we're going to take these three. see which one I want that to be on that side this to be on this side I think. hmm I think I think the board's too dark for that you guys think that board's too dark for that I think I need to whiten that board up 42 let me dry brush some on this board I think Hmm. It is pretty, but it's awful dark for these pumpkins. Hmm. I'm thinking, what should I do here? Maybe not. We're going to put stuff on them, leaves, and let me, try, let me try something here. Hmm. I think it's awful dark. It is dark. Okay, we're gonna whitewash this. I'm just gonna dry brush some white on it and lighten it up. I'm not gonna paint it all the way. I'm just gonna lighten it up. Let's see what happens here. My trusty bottle is getting uh. It's getting more out. Yes, this bottle has seen. That bottle has helped me paint a lot of furniture. It is like an old friend. I told my children if I died before they did, they need to bury me with my yellow dent brush that I've had for like 40 years that I use every single day of my life. And this bottle. <laughs> better than that. Okay, now I'm going to put some more water on it, get a baby wipe, and get just a little more off, and make it look more whitewashed. Yeah, it was too dark. I agree. It was really pretty, but um, when I did this today, that was really pretty. Maybe I should have done the pumpkins really bright, but I didn't think I wanted to.
Okay. I think when that's dry, that'll be much better. Much, much better. No, it's still there. It's not as, it's not as noticeable. But it's still there. I'm going to go over it with a little bit of sandpaper, too. I did, I did the pumpkins. All I did, Stacy, was cut out three shapes like this, and I only really needed one. I did it today because I needed to put them together, and I was just playing. And um, I cut three shapes like that out of one of those ceiling tiles. And then I just um, used terracotta paint. When it looks almost like birch wood. I'm sorry, I know it's loud. I'm y'all. It, it's gonna hurt your ears. Okay. There. So you still see the wood grain, but it's whitewashed. So now we see this is better. Much, 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 much. Okay. Okay, now I envision this pumpkin to be bigger at the bottom than the top. So when I put it together, it's gonna kinda um the grain is showing since it dried, yes. I wanted the grain, the wood grain to show. Okay, and I want this close at the bottom. Not really, I want it tilted this way a little bit. And then put this like this, and it'll look like a pumpkin, hopefully. It's getting there. Okay, let's see if my hot glue has dried long enough to get this on here. I need some glue sticks in it. Thanks for the heart, y'all. Appreciate it. And when you're um, hot gluing these down, be really careful if they get hot because it's just... Um, it's just plastic. Let me make sure this is in the right spot. Okay, I think it needs to be like that. It'll hold it really good, so you don't have to worry about using wood glue or, you know, doing it all over the whole surface because it'll it'll hold it down really well. It just gets really hot. Okay, and then this one right here. Melanie, you have one of these tiles? You have a Dollar Tree tile? They are fun. I love, I, I don't care what you do with, with them. I just think they're beautiful. Okay, there's the beginning of our pumpkin. Look like a tall pumpkin? What do you think? Your happy mail will arrive Saturday. Yay! 
it does kind of look like leather. It reminds me of what they call Moroccan leather or Mexican leather. I love it. Okay. Let me get, make sure this is glued down here. Okay. Now, we got the pumpkin together. I want to put a little bit of Spanish moss, and I'm going to use a cinnamon stick. This cinnamon stick is a little bigger at the bottom than right here, so that's going to be the base right there. I just want a piece of cinnamon stick up here. Hey, Lainey, how are you? I've seen so many different creators using them, but I keep procrastinating. Well, buy more and just play. Maybe I like it better that way. I do like it better that way. All right. I want it a little bit crooked. Forty-eight. You guys get to 50 and I'll scroll and stop in a name and I'll give away ceiling tile. How's that? Okay. Okay, I want to uh, use some of this moth. This stuff is... Ugh. I love it, but boy, it's a pain to use. from Sandy this came from the Dollar Tree today love the look of this so far I do too I do too now this is just in my head so you know it might be a bust before we're done but we'll get there I mean I've seen a lot of people use these for a lot of things and I thought today I love the look of the the where I got the idea I think you have um you guys see 50 I see 42 how does that happen that is craziness. You see 50. You guys see 50? Butterfly tiles. Now I have to get these. <laughs> I'm sorry, Connie. <laughs> these are really easy, y'all. Really, really easy. Um, one of your favorite pumpkins so far? Thanks, Linda. Okay. But, but back to this. How I got this. UC52, the lag must be really bad. I'm sorry, y'all, but it's okay. Everybody's in here. I'm going to scroll in just a minute. Um, there, I've seen several different crafters, and I saw on Pinterest the other day where they took three oval trays, and they put two together and one in the middle, and I'm like, hmm, that looks kind of cute. Now, see, Julie sees 45, and I see 44. Huh. Who knows? And you see 45, and I still see 44. And you see 47, Laurie, and I see 42. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, um, and I thought, well, you know what? I don't have to use those metal trays. Who wants to hang metal trays on your wall? So, a few times. I, I agree. I know I have. I agree. I'm going to scroll in a minute, y'all. I see 47. So, I thought, okay, I'm going to sit here, and I'm just going to say, okay, the bottom of an oval tray is about like this. And so, there you go. All right, you ready? I'm going to scroll. I'm going to scroll and scroll and scroll. And in a minute, I'm going to stop. Okay, I'm just going to stop. Hold on. Whose name am I on? Um, Luann Vassello. Luann, are you still in here? Luann Vassello. That's whose name I stopped on. Let me get way back up to the comments. There's 50 again. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, I just drew for the 50. So, 
It's Luann Vasello, if she's still in here. If she's not, I'll draw again in a few minutes. Okay, but anyway, I thought, okay, let's just let's just do this. And it's working. So far, so good. Okay, I've got some leaves. I made those leaves out of tin. Yay, you are in here. Awesome, girl, you the winner. Ceiling tile. Please tell me you're not in Australia or Germany or somewhere crazy. <laughs> Okay, I want this a little bit shiny. Where's my other two leaves? Here they are. Whoa. And that's another thing about this material I'm working with right now, this aluminum. You can bend your leaves and make them adorable. So... You can just bend them however you want them. Thank you, Nancy. I haven't seen you in a while. Are you okay? Debbie, Pamela, hey, you guys. So, just because you cut out leaves don't mean your leaves have to be born and flat, right? We're going to make these leaves look like they're really standing up. Thank you. So, I'm going to stick a few leaves here. Till we get them. I want two on one side and one on the other, I believe. One kind of over the other, maybe. Yeah, what do you think? I can't hold it up too much. Yeah, I think that looks pretty. One on one side, two on the other. Okay, let me glue this down. I like where it is. Yes, these leaves are made from the Dollar Tree cookie sheets. Thank you, Linda. Yes, yes what, Connie? Okay, let's see. Let me get this leaf this way, this leaf this way. I need some more hot glue. Oh. Now I want to make this one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, you're going to get a tile. You just need to make sure I have your uh, mailing address, girl. Let's see. Now I'm going to have a whole pack of patch. <laughs> oh, I have a big pack. Did y'all see the real idea today on the tin so far? Man, I have a guest room dresser full. Pumpkins. Um, they are the Dollar Tree ceiling tiles. Mm-hmm. This one I painted white. This is this is one of those. Except that started out the silver. Going to have to try those tiles on my birdhouse. I did one birdhouse, Sandy. Um, it was in my sale. Going to be full of pumpkins with all your great ideas. Are you making pumpkins every day? Let me make sure these are glued down before I start. Keep picking them up. Oh, I want that on top of that leaf. Did I use all my moss? Yes, I did. So I'm gonna steal some. I want these leaves to look like they're sticking up and real and pretty much all that. Okay, now there's the leaves. What do you think? <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> who said that? Uh, Nancy, <laughs> I've been looking for months at our Dollar Tree. No luck. Oh, try Dollar General. Try, I don't see them. I see all different kinds anymore, but I don't see these anymore. Um, okay. 
Now, I have a couple of, what did I do with my little pack of leaves? Hmm, I know I have a little pack of leaves here somewhere. Oh, it's in my basket. Now, I have these leaves too, but they're not real realistic. I probably shouldn't even add those. They don't, no, they don't look good with that. Okay, I'm going to put some cinnamon on this. Mod Podge, where is that? Um, yes, well, I find, um, I found lots of them at Dollar General. No, 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 I'm sorry, I told you wrong. Family Dollar, I haven't found any at Dollar General. I found them at Family Dollar. I'm just going to put a little rust in different spots here on this. And all I'm doing is putting down my podge and um, some cinnamon. And then I'm going to knock the excess off. After it dries, I'm going to get back over it with, um, sand, with Mod Podge again. And that'll make it look like it's real rusty. Can you buy the pattern? Wait a minute. You can buy the pattern in wallpaper. It's a white and you can paint it. I think Lowe's. Um, like wallpaper, I'm sure you could. It won't be as cheap as Dollar Tree, but you can. I mean, just use your imagination. You can do it however you want to. You found the tiles at Family Dollar. Yes, I did. On the, yeah, I heard that. Okay, I'm just taking cinnamon, and this is just from my kitchen, but I use this Keep it in the craft room. And all I'm doing, you guys, is taking, see the Mod Podge all over that? I'm just going to sprinkle cinnamon, and then I'm going to knock it off. And you get have to get quite a bit. And I'm just putting it on the Mod Podge. It's got cinnamon stick and cinnamon. It's going to smell yummy, too. It's going to smell like pumpkin pie. Okay, mm, smells so yummy. Okay, I think that looks good. Do you ever use glow in the dark? No, but I saw that you sent me somebody, maybe Sandy. One of y'all sent me some glow in the dark paint. I'm asking about glow in the dark, let's see. It's a roll, not as cheap, but if you buy several. Hmm. Is it wallpaper, Stacy, or is it the the plastic ceiling tiles? I'm just gonna knock this off in my trash can over here, y'all. Okay. So you can't really see it. Well, you might can see where it is. Now, eventually, that will kind of go away. But then, after you dry this, no, you don't dry it first. I'm wrong. Hold on a minute. You put your Mod Podge over top of this while it's still powder on there and then you dry it and it'll look just like rust and um and just kind of scrub it in and don't use it with you know any of your other brushes and don't get it all mixed in with your stuff I did this on, I was in an event, and I did this on a windmill, and it looks completely rusted. All you hear is the board jumping around there. I have seen the wallpaper. I want to do my kitchen in white brick, I think. It's so expensive. This holds the cinnamon on and makes it darker. Okay, I think, let's see, here's a little bit more. I think that's got it all. I think it's so hard to see. Oh, here's some. <clears throat> Hi, Perlin. Perlin, where are you getting all those pretty, um, not Perlin, Linda. 
where are you getting all those pretty, um, like, they're called engagement pages uh, that you're sending out. Those cute little posts. Are you making those? <laughs> Remember, this is plastic. If you dry it and get it too hot, you're going to melt your thing. So I'm going to let it dry just a little bit. Heat it up. Let it dry before it distorts it. Okay, you can kind of see what it started to do. So you can see how rusty it is. It's drying. And when it dries all the way. No, I was talking to... Um, Pearly Ann Creations, Miss Linda, she's got a page too, y'all. She's on a lot of times in the mornings. She does cute stuff. No, sorry, Linda Thomas. I was talking to Pearl Ann. But I have a roll of embossed wallpaper. That would work. That would definitely work. And the color of paint I used on this is terracotta, which I need to get some more I'm about out of. Okay, I've got one more thing I need to do to this. Let me set this aside and let it um, dry. I picked this up at the Dollar Tree today. Canva. I'm learning Canva. It's hard. I'm having a hard time. Maybe I need to get with you. Okay, where's my pencil? Okay, I'm making some little curly cues. You will never look at Santa the same way. I'm sure you won't, Connie. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Now, this is wired rope, wired jute. So, you've got to take some glue or Mod Podge or something and mend the ends because, see, it starts to ravel. So while it's on your pencil, you need to go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna use the Mod Podge I have over here. Um, how's Jerry, how are you? <laughs> Every time you start to eat Cinnamon Toast Crunch, <laughs> Connie's gonna go, I just don't know why I'm thinking about Marlene today. <laughs> oh, I use it quite a bit. All I'm doing is just mending these ends around this rope because it's going to it's gonna ravel. And I thought today, I thought, no, nah, it'll be okay, but it will ravel. Just pull it off your pencil. And then you have these cute little pumpkin curly cues. So we're going to put a few of those on there. Canva. Mm. Canva is a uh, creation design. Um, you do all kinds of stuff in Canva. It's a... Um, what do I want to say? A uh, graphics, a graphics program. I'm learning to use Canva. Whew, it's kicking my butt too. Helen, it sounds to me like you want to learn. You can download Canva. You can, there's a free version. And if you, it doesn't give you, you can't use all their tools, but if you pay like $12 a month, you can use all of their tools, everything, and it's worth it, I think. Oh, thank you. I make those too. She just wanted to make that for me. And so it's really special. Okay, there's one little pumpkin doodad. So, and we're gonna make one more. Oh, there's a little more Spanish moss. I thought I used it all. It's fun to use. Well, it might be fun when I learn how. Not yet. Okay, I want to make one more of those little curly cues. Where's my rope? I know I took it apart. <laughs> I swear. 
swear, I drop everything in the floor, y'all. Okay, where's my pencil? There it is. I have this desk all clean. I start this and I tell you, if you have claustrophobia, you'd be in bad shape. Or OCD too. Right, I tried it out for a while, then bought the subscription. I did too, I bought it too, because um, you just need all the tools. I think you do. There's too many things I wanted to do that I couldn't do. All I'm doing is wrapping this wired rope around this pencil and making these little curly cues, but I'm mending the ends because it ravels so bad. If you like it ravel, if you like it to ravel, you can just leave it. Where's my wire cutters? Okay, let me pull this off. Let me go the other way. Boy, this wire is stiff in here. If you're not careful, you'll poke yourself too. It's uh, sharp. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in this way. Guys, if any of you are hanging out your house, laying in the bed, sitting in a chair with your feet up, eating a snack, how about let me know you're on? I need to see your face. I need you to raise your hand and say, hey, I'm here. I need your number. Okay, let me, let's see, where do I want this one glued on here at? Right there, I believe. I do believe. Can you give an example of what you do in Canva? Oh, you make um, post. You can do um, you can do um, your Facebook page stuff. You can do introductions. You can do anything graphic. Anything graphic. You can make things to print. Um, I'm still sitting on the porch. <laughs> hey, Ava, how are you? Ava, I went to your Dollar Tree today and bought a mail. Eating watermelon. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. Except for letting it dry, I guess there's your leather look pumpkin. I just got on. Hi, Victoria. I'm going to let this... Uh, no snack. I'd like to have some watermelon myself. Oh, hey Marge, how are you? Welcome. You guys, if you're new to my page, let me know you're here and let me know you're new. We'd love to give you a welcome. If you're watching me from YouTube, I appreciate you finding me on YouTube and I hope you're learning something. Okay, let me, um, I'm going to play with these leaves and get them bent just like I want them. Okay, does it look rusty? See all the rust now? See what it does? There you go. Okay, there's our pumpkin. Um, I still feel like he needs something, like right in here. I don't know what. Dollar Tree near you or me. The Dollar Tree near you in Dallas. Oh, I eat ice cream every night, Jan. Every single night. Just, to, I mean, if I don't, it's because it either gets way too late or I forget or I just don't feel good. But then even, I told my children, yes, it is very rustic. It is. I love it. Um, again, it's what was in my head this morning, so there you go. Um, 
but I love ice cream. I told my children, I said, if I die before y'all and I can't talk, you at least need to melt some ice cream and dribble it, dribble, drizzle it down my throat. And they think it's funny, but I'm serious. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thanks, Ava. All right, you guys, I think we've done all we can do to this cute little pumpkin. I don't know what else we could do to it. I have an, a green leaf that has a little bit of orange I could blend in there, but that's too odd, too different, so I won't do that. I might go in a minute and put some veins and stuff in these uh, in these leaves, though, and give them a little more dimension. Still, we say about 3 o'clock. Afternoon, ice cream o'clock time, <laughs> really. I have it before I go to bed, and I know I shouldn't. It's not real good. I mean, you know, you work hard and you do keto, and then you eat ice cream. What the world? But if I didn't if I didn't try to eat right and then had ice cream, I'd be a blimp. So, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stacy. All right, you guys. Thanks for hopping on. And if you're watching the replay right now, um, because the live button is not up there, just um, type in hashtag replay so I'll know you've been here. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And if you're not following my page and you'd love to, and I'd love for you to, if you'll go up here on this side, there's three little dots. If you'll click that, if it says following, then you are. If it says follow, it's asking you if you would like to follow. And all you have to do is click on that and hopefully... Hopefully, you'll get notifications. I'm going to check into, um, what did I say, um, Telegram. That way, everybody will get a, per a personal message when I get live. Because what I usually try to do 15 minutes or half an hour before I go live, I try to post on, um, have a good night, you too, Bonnie. Um, I try to post in my personal page and my business page. And then as soon as I go live, I usually try to say I'm live now. So that lets you guys know if you didn't get a notice that I am going live right this minute. So that's so kind of all I can do. Good night, sweet girl. Get some rest. I hope you feel much better tomorrow. Okay, and Luann, is that right? Whoever won... This tile, if you will send me a private message in Messenger, uh, I would appreciate it because I need your address. All right. Thanks, ladies. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.